Hi guys, Sabrina from Campbell's Freedom Farm, and today we're gonna propagate the ginkgo tree, which is like the brain herb because of its capabilities, and we'll get into that. But we're gonna propagate it two ways, by seed and by cuttings. And I've done both, and um, so I could show you the results. Now, propagating this by seed, where do you get the seeds? For me, I went to an Asian market, and these are in the refrigerated section, and you can pick it up. I have also gone, I know where a tree is, and um, I have taken the seeds off the ground, and I let them stratify on the ground, and they worked out really well. So with that, I did a test, and these are, I put two in here, and non-cracked, and two in here that were cracked, the shells. And so this is what they look like. They're really large. And here's one that's cracked already. Now, today I wanna try the ones from the grocery store. They've been in my refrigerator for at least three months. I got him in, in, well, after Christmas, or right before Christmas, I don't know, before the holidays. And one is already starting to germinate and starting to sprout, so it's great. So with this, I always tell you whatever the length is, you double that. This is not the case with this. I did a bunch of research and they said they germinate better on top of the soil. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put this one straight up and I'm just gonna sprinkle these in here. And I'm kind of curious if the um, seed, the seeds from the store will propagate better. And I am gonna use a really large container. Now, this could take a good month before they even really sprout. So you need to just water them in, cover them, and leave them alone. So for me, I'm just gonna um, put some seed starting mix by Jiffy. Thanks to Howard, he donated a bunch to the channel. And, um, and that's it, it's so easy. Now, let's talk about the value of these leaves. One, they're just beautiful in the yard. I mean, they're incredible, especially in the fall. But these leaves, if you take 10 of these leaves and sell them, you're gonna get roughly above $4, up to $5. 10 leaves, wow. So this is one of the most valuable plants that you could grow. Now, it does take a while, so it'll grow roughly 10 to 12 inches per year. So it's not really slow, but it's not very, you know, fast growing. Now, another way that we could propagate these is by cuttings. Now, I like to do the cuttings when they're dormant. A lot of people do it in the summer. I don't, I don't like to do that. So let me show you. I did a test on these too. Now I took long cuttings and these are looking great. Here's some that were medium stems and they're starting to have some activity, not a, some roots, but not a lot. And then I did really short stems nothing on these so for me i do the really long stems and that's how i do the fig trees i don't mess around with the short ones now you could always tell a ginkgo tree kind of by these knobs i mean they really have definite knobs and this is where all the leaves come from now i have one here and what I'm gonna do, just like the fig trees, I'm gonna scrape right here so you can see the bark. 
And these are a little thicker. Okay. Okay, can you see that? And then I use dry Rudol rooting hormone. And then I take a stick and I only put it on the bottom one. You could do several of these if you wanted to. And I don't use seed starting for this. I just use compost. And then this compost is wet because since I'm using powder, I don't want to wash it off. If I was doing liquid, I could basically wet it afterwards. So here's another one all the way around. Now on the seeds, it was a 50-50 um, root growth or, or propagation germination rate. So 50-50. And so far on the long stems, it's going to be more like 80. Now the short ones aren't doing anything. I'm going to keep them damp and let them be. Now Unfortunately, when I brought these in the house and put them in water with a bunch of other stuff I want to um, root, they started opening their leaves. And um, I really didn't want them to because while they're dormant, they could still grow roots. It's a slow process, but they do. And it's healthier, I think. All right. Now. Let's talk about, am I gonna cover these? If I cover them and there's no leaves on it, you could just put a cup on it. Now, if, since there's leaves and I don't want these to dry out, you have to drill holes in these cups. It's not a very good one. I do a whole bunch. And then I cover this until there's some root activity. Huh. I might do a bag on this one, like the taller ones. And then I'm going to put it on the ground, just like the fig trees, where it's warm, but not a lot of light, you know, filtered light. But the warmth from the bottom is what's going to grow the roots. We don't want this to be warm from the sun, per se. You know what I mean? Now, let's talk ginkgo and dementia. How does it help? What happens is it's really high in antioxidants. And so we have, I wrote it down, flavonoids and terpenoids. And what happens is the reason it works, it opens up the blood vessels. And also our blood gets a sticky um, plate on it like glue and that really affects the brain. This gets rid of the stickiness. So for um, the symptoms of dementia, such as they forget, they have a hard time with the cognitive um, duties, like just the regular household stuff. Ginkgo in roughly six weeks is supposed to help with that. Great improvement. Is it long lasting? Well, they're still researching that. Um, but if it helps, anything that helps with dementia is just such a valuable thing. So does it prevent Alzheimer's? No. All the clinical studies on prevention, this is not the herb for it. We're going to go into herbs that do prevent, such as Turamec. And those are still under study too, but there's great evidence on that. So um, another thing with the ginkgo, people that have anxiety, um, glaucoma, macular degeneration, memory and thinking, the ginkgo plant is also known to help with this. So, I mean, this is such a great plant a valuable plant and it's so ornamental. Now, how long will it live? Over a thousand years old is, I forgot what the oldest one is, 1500 or some 
living still. So these are a long-term investment. So, and they'll get up to 80 foot and it's, it's a great plant. And I'm zone six and then grown and but they grow all across the country worldwide so this is the first of the series of the dementia um we did grow ginseng i want to show you this here's another crop of ginseng so they're growing they've rooted but i have holes in this and that will basically loosen up once they really look better. And we're gonna plant these down in the field. Now, both of these are um, hardy in our zone, zone six. But this is a great plant to grow. This is Sabrina from Campbell's Freedom Farm. Please subscribe, like, and share. We're really growing in this channel and it's because of you guys. Have a great day.